how do you beautify swatches for a WooCommerce variable product? I'm gonna show you a plugin that you can use to do just that. My name is Michelle and I release videos on marketing websites and all things design. So if you find this information helpful, be sure to give the video a like and subscribe if you'd like to follow along. Now this video is actually part of a series. The first video I did went over how to set up the variable product. Now we're just stylizing it a bit more in this video by adding some swatches. And the final video that I'm going to do is going to show you how to set up a template page using the Divi theme builder. So if you're ready to get started by adding some swatches, let's get to it. All right. I am going to show you now how to add swatches to our variable product, because maybe we don't love this drop down and we would love to be able to see all the colors available at one time. So in order to do this, I'm going to add a plugin. So I will navigate to my dashboard. Okay, I'm in my plugins and I wanna add new. And what I'm gonna search for now is called variation swatches for WooCommerce. So I'm gonna go with a, this guy right here. It's got over 300,000 active installations. It does have a pro version. For this tutorial, I'm not going to show you what the pro version looks like. I don't have it, and so it's not necessary. Uh, so let's just get this installed and let's get to stylizing. So we'll activate the plugin. And then I can see that we've got this swatches tab over here now. And so it does give you some tutorials on how to do everything, which is super helpful. I am just going to show you some basic style options on just changing the colors. So in order to do this, I actually need to go back to my product attributes. So under product and then attributes. So once I'm back into my attributes, the first thing I need to do is go back and edit my color attribute that I created. So I'm going to hit the edit button here and then I have a type here that I need to select. So do I want a color? Do I want an image or do I want a button? So the first thing that I'm going to show is just the color. So I will hit update on that. And now that we've got that selected, I do want to go in and I need to set my individual color. So you can kind of see that we've got this little box here. Now we want to set our individual colors for each. So I can see that I've got this color and I've got a color selector. So these are just going to be very guesstimated, if you will. Uh, for my ash color, I knew that it was a really light gray. So we're just going to hit update on that. And then let's go back and let's choose our black. That's easy. So we'll just choose the black color there. Hit update. We'll go back to our pink. Choose our color for pink. So it's kind of a baby powdery pink. So we'll choose that and then hit update. And then last for our teal color, we will choose our pink best guess we'll, we'll try something like here might have been a slightly darker but let's go with that we'll hit update and now we've got all of our colors added so if we go back to our product we should be able to see our new swatches so let's go ahead and view our women's slim fit tee and now we've got our wonderful little swatches and if we click our swatch we can see that each of our model images are there so if i wanted to clear the selection and go back to our product image i could just hit clear and then it would go to the original product image so that is really how you can change that up I did have some things that I didn't love about this. Like if you end up with a ton of different swatches, let's say you had 20 colors for a t-shirt, I think what ends up happening is that the spacing between the color and the swatch, it gets smashed right up against one another, which isn't so awesome. And you can see that there's quite a bit of space. So it's like the more swatches that you add, the positioning of all of this changes. And so if you do want to alter that, you can definitely target just a quick CSS with that. And I'll even put some, I'll put some additional notes in the blog that will accompany this video because if you are interested in trying to target that particular class where you want to add a little bit more space to the color, I'll leave those notes for you so that you can do that. 
But this also brings up another great point of when we land on our product page, what if we wanted our model shot to be the first thing that you saw and not the featured image? So we just, you know, the really the goal is to have a different image displayed rather than the out of the gate product image that we selected overall. So how would we do that? If you stay tuned for the next video, I will show you how to do that. And it's so easy. Divi makes it so easy. So we'll also go over how to really just give this some style love overall uh, to make sure that our product is being displayed in the best light. So be on the lookout. There will be links for those videos, for all the videos in the series in the description. And I just want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.